Yo, how you guys doing this afternoon? Good to see you. Welcome back to the afternoon stream. I'm looking forward to this. This is a game that I have been looking at for a long time. I have lots of questions about it. And we're going to dive in and see what it's like. This is PAX Day. Uh, this game is currently in alpha. So I do want to point out, especially to those on YouTube and in the stream, uh, what you're going to be seeing today is alpha. So this is by no means a finished game. It is, it is very much early. We're just going to be looking at the mechanics, seeing how they work, and kind of going from there. Do I have sound? Is there sound? That looks pretty good. Definitely need that hair. Yes. Um, lots of beard options. I like it. Okay. I need, I need a big beard. I need a large beard. And the graphics look great. Okay. Got a, got a Kasuga thing going on right there. Got a Geralt thing going on. Okay. Okay. Let's go with this guy. We're just going in, chat. We're just going in. My name is... Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... Select a start location. I mean, is this population? I'm not sure what this is. Let's go with down. Okay. Connecting to server. We're in. There's some music. Love it. Okay. So, before we begin, um, this here here is what I know about Pax Day. Pax Day is supposedly wanting to be a combination between like social MMO and survival game. So that immediately has me interested. I like that idea, but the big thing that I'm I'm looking for in this game is what separates this from just a normal survival game with a lot of people? Um, and that's what we're going to kind of be exploring today. Because I have played lots of survival games. And and I'm very curious what these guys are going to do to make this feel... Like, I, I, want, I want that MMO feeling in a survival game. Not just a survival game with a lot of people. You know what I mean? So, let's, let's kind of mess around and see what we can do here. Um, we've got spells... In the bottom right that's cool oh here we go we've got inventory equipment crafting okay skills alchemy building leatherwork cooking tailoring blacksmithing fletching jewel craft baking sh shark cootery mining tanning and wood cutting combat has a lot of different weapons as well melee attack jump dodge sprint okay got a clan thing here oh here's my equipment okay Bangles got the okay everything everything looks pretty pretty standard so far how do i like pick up and harvest hey justin okay there's no like uh i'm able to pick anything up here there's a house i think that's somebody something that someone built Uh, what's the first thing we can build? <clears throat> Needs beach sapwood and nice, nice rock. Nice, nice. All right, so we have to somehow take down a, a tree. Let's go try punching a tree. Oh, wait, there's a use something. What's that? Um, let's tab do. Okay. Maybe I have to like pick up a rock and use a rock. Let's look for a rock. I pick you up. Ha! Okay, so we have a rock, chat. We have found a rock. Yeah, that's okay. Now, what can I make with this? <clears throat> can I equip the rock? I cannot equip the rock, so we're gonna need to 
Can I, like, punch this? Okay. We did discover a rock. Maybe I have to find beechwood on the ground. Or rock. Rock on? Rock on, dude. Rock on. Uh, it looks like we can interact with the trees, but I'm not... <clears throat> Let's see what that is. Let's poke around a little bit. There's got to be more stuff we can pick up. Oh, here's all this stuff. What's this thing? Can I use this? No. Looks cool, though. Looking for rock in all the wrong places. Do 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 do. Move down here a little bit. We're just gonna run around into. Is this a something I can pick up? No. seam. Ooh. Okay. Oh! What about this? Aha! Tree branch. Okay. So now we can make 22. Okay, so we need to find one more tree branch. Alright. Our map. Sites, respawns, caves. Huh. I already like one more branch and then we can really get started here. Come on, branch. <clears throat> Come on, branch. That one right there. Yes! Alright, let's see. One handed stone axe. <clears throat> Great. Okay. Go. Alright. It's a very powerful uh, shrub. Ah. I can't seem to pick up the shroomy shrooms. Whatever that is. Sapwood and resin. Too hard. Okay. Hmm. Uh, Z-Mad Geek, that's, uh, super weird. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty warranted. Mm-hmm. A little strange. Okay, so, let's build a construction hammer. I 
can claim a plot. How does one do that? Before building houses and crafters, you have to claim a plot. I see a huge amount of plot. So what is their thinking here in terms of... Hmm. This brings up a lot of questions with this system in an MMO format. Like, I guess friends are just not going to be able to build next to each other unless they start with each other? Hmm. It's kind of like V Rising. No, not really. V Rising is this. This is gonna. This is purporting itself to be an MMO. So this is gonna be like lots and lots and lots of people on not a huge amount of servers. V Rising is very server based. You just you can just play with your buds and you know that kind of thing. Granted, there are public servers, but they aren't that big. Certainly not to a level an MMO would say. I mean, they're like, what? They cap out at like 60, uh, 100 or something? Hey, dear. Oh, dear. So it looks like we found an area where there's not many people. How do I claim the plot? <clears throat> I'm assuming yellow means I can't do it. Nice to get a little feedback on why in the future. Alpha, whatever, right? I'm assuming it turns a different color when you can do it properly. Maybe have to clear the area? I don't think so. Trees in the way? I don't think you have to cut down the. Oh. Okay. So I can. It turns white when we can place it. Some of these are right next to the road. I'd kind of like to get next to the road if we can. Too far. You can make that work. Okay. Post plot. Not the best plot, but this plot is mine. What is this? <clears throat> Get off of my plot. You animal. Wait, what is this? Is this mine now? This is in my plot. This is mine. I keep it now. Okay. The plot thickens. It does. Too hard. All right, now that we're here, in my plot, what can I build? We can build a campfire. Uh, hmm. It looks like everything needs, you need a basic workbench that takes rough beam wood, wooden pegs, and rough plank. Ah, let's get this wood chopping block going. That sounds like a good place to start. So, so far, <clears throat> this is 100% a survival game. 
I'm I'm not really seeing anything in this yet that leads me to feel like I'm in an MMO. So I'm curious curious where we're going with this. Good job, Sherlock. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> I feel like we've done a lot of uh, a lot of good good sleuthing here. At least you don't have a hunger thirst meter. Yeah, I don't think so. Not right now. Mm hmm. Isn't the chill crafting area supposed to be separate from the adventuring MMO bit? Is it? Is that how they've state they they've structured it? Slam, no plans right now. No. Is your plot on the map? Yes. The dev said the current alpha state is more focused on the building aspect. Okay. There's the stone anvil. Let's do the wood chopping block. Put that up here. Mm. Okay, so we probably want to start with a workbench. We need four rough wood beams. Can I? I can't in stuff. That'd be super useful. Uh, rough beam wood, rough plank wood, and wooden pegs. I can't set an amount I want to craft either. Okay. <clears throat> Building XP earned 1,548. Okay. Seems like a <laughs> large number. Huh. Cool. Getting some new recipes. Okay, we're going to need to get some more wood here in a sec. Go ahead and craft all we can to this. There's a dog that Ko hasn't pet yet? Yes. Is there hunger thirst? There's not in the game currently that I've seen. No.
Maybe Spook, yeah. Could be. That could be what they're going for. Mm-hmm. Get a couple more larger trees. We actually got some wood to work with. Oh, okay. Too hard. <clears throat> Just kidding. Huh. That's a very nice sweater. Where'd you get it? This is the Co Chunk sweater. It actually just went on the store a few days ago. Go to TV slash store. That wood is way too hard, chat. Yeah. <clears throat> and I tell you, I can't go five feet without finding wood that's just too hard. too hard, right? Yep. Hey, William, what's up, buddy? A little bit worried that wolf's going to eat my face. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go after it and see what happens. Those are very large numbers. That is too many sad dog sounds. Too many. We really need to have a talk with these devs. The, 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 the ratio between sad dog sounds and reward just does not line up. Nope. Oh god, it's his, it's his mom. Justin, excuse me, sir, but have you seen my pet dogs? They kind of look like wolves. Nope, I haven't seen them. We'll let you know. Plenty of wood now. Let's even get this bench going. Although we need to figure out how to make it appreciate it. We'd hate for something to happen to them. Oh, that'd be terrible, wouldn't it? <clears throat> wow, we have to get 20 wood logs for those. That's pretty rough. Oh, wait, no, I need... No, no, no. Shoot. <clears throat> Four of these. Grats on the level. Thank you so much. Hey guys, just tuned in. How's the playthrough going so far? How does Co like it? So, there's there's a lot of things to talk about with this. First of all, it's an alpha, so you know we can't we can't put too much stock into what we're getting. Um, 
second of all, I was not aware that the alpha is only a part of the game. I mean, that makes sense because alpha is obviously not the full thing. But one of the biggest things I wanted to see about this game is I wanted to see how they were approaching the total picture. I wanted to see what really separates this game from just another survival game and puts it in the category of a hybrid MMORPG survival game, which is what I was kind of told it was going to be. But apparently the exact thing I'm looking for is not in the alpha. So, so far, what I have is a pretty relatively standard survival experience so far. Um, so I, I'm, I'm like for some, for a project like this, like my max, my maximum amount of impressiveness is like whelmed. Like, you know, survival games these days are, are, there's lots of them. There's lots of them. So, and, and it, it's, it's a, it's a pretty common genre. Um, I've played it a whole bunch of times and, um, and, and so far, I mean, this is a pretty alpha feeling survival game. 